Welcome everyone. My name is Jay Howard. I am a teaching artist, poet, and sometimes rapper. And I am with the organization called Community Word Project. We are here to bring you on Fridays, some activities to do for some self-care, some poetry, some art. And we look forward to you joining us each week. This week, I'm gonna get things kicked off with some Playground Days, Board Games, Poetry Edition. I'm a big, big fan of thinking about my um, childhood, just mostly list the games that I used to play. Uh, we all have our favorite games, if it's a board game, if it's an outdoor game, if it's um, just something that you just love to do with your friends. Today, we are gonna brainstorm through some of those activities, maybe some of those memories, and you're gonna select a board game to write your own poem. So if you have a minute, this is your mini guide. Take a look at it. This is what um, our flow will be for today. And we also have a complete guide as we walk through different activities. I'm gonna get things kicked off though first with, um, since I'm so deep into um, my own playground days, I'll get things started off with a poem of mine. Playground days. Red light, green light, one, two, three. The tire swayed from my wooden playground. Body shift closer towards the safe zones. Red bricks, monkey bars and floor mats. The right mixture for broken bones. Freeze, tag, you're it. Ah, rats. My youthful cuss words resonates. Dip, dip, dog-ish, you are not it. Eyes closed, children scatter. My sneaker was safe this time around. One, two, skip a few, 99. It's time to get a head start from the countdown. 99, uh, 100. Already it's time. Those extra Mississippi seconds do matter. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. This piggy won't get caught by its toes. If they holler, I'll let you know. But I'm too fast. I got you. Wait, no, no. I, I had time out. Catch me if you can. I'm the gingerbread man. Growing up, I used to love playing freeze tag. Um, I used to think that I could never get caught, but I would always get caught. Um, you know, you always look for those hidden floor spots, trying to sneak your way around the game and make it to the end. But my all-time favorite board game is, is Trouble, the game you see in front of you. Um, I one time won so many games in the summer that I beat everyone and took their game home after a while. So I had about six different trouble board games in my house at one summer. Um, so that is my all time favorite game. I want you to take a two minutes and just to brainstorm. You're gonna create a list of your favorite games. Um, think about your favorite board games. They could be Cards Against Humanity. It could be Trouble. It could be any of the games that you're currently playing while you're at home for, during this staycation. Um, think about all the different card games that are out there. What are the different card games that you can think of? I can think of 21, Blackjack, might be the same thing, but I don't want to give too many away. And what are your outdoor activities? What outdoor activities do you love to do? Is it volleyball? What games can you play outdoors? Like Double Dutch, Skelzies? I'm not sure if anybody knows what Skelzies is, but bonus points for anybody who knows what Skelzies is. Write it in the comments if you know. Here is a master bonus list of outdoor activities and board games from A through Z. Take a look at it, everything from apples to apples. You might see some I Spy With My Little Eye, some ice skating, um, knockout and basketball. If you're on the basketball court, you might play some knockout. You might play some horse. Uh, we have numbers, we have concentration, we have wit's end, and we even have some zingo. Come up with. I want you all to come up with a title that you're comfortable with using to turn it into a poem. So as you're looking at this list, think about a poem um, that might be inspired based off the title. It can be an experience that you've had playing that game itself, or you can just use the title to make a poem about life um, and how life is like a game of rock, paper, and scissors. To get us kind of 
into the moment though, um, I want us to take us a look at a poem called Double Dutch. And this poem is from Gregory Poldo. And he's a Pulitzer Prize winning poet. This is one of my favorite po poems actually because it puts you into the moment. There's a lot of things that I like to call sensory details, um, also imagery, right? These are things that put you into the moment. It really paints a picture. So as we listen to Gregory Poldo read his poem, I want you to see what images come alive for you and as you become transfixed into this moment of double dutch. The girls turning double dutch bob and weave like boxers pulling punches, shadowing each other, sparring across the slack cord casting parabolas in the air. They whip quick as an infant's pulse and the jumper, before she enters the winking, nods in time as if she has a notion to share, waiting her chance to speak. But she's anticipating the upbeat, like a band leader, counting off the tune they are about to swing into. The jumper stair steps into midair, as if she's jumping rope in low gravity, training for a lunar mission. Airborne a moment long enough to fit a second thought in, she looks caught in the mouth bones of a fish, as she flutter floats into motion, like a figure in a stack of time-lapse photos thumbed alive. Once inside, the bells tied to her shoestrings rouse the gods who've lain in the dust since the Dutch acquired Manhattan. How she dances patterns like a dust-heavy bee retracing its travels in scale before the hive. How the whole stunning contraption of girl and rope slaps and scoops like a paddle boat her misted skin arranges the light with each adjustment and flex, now heather hued, now sheen, light listing on the fulcrum of a wrist and the bare jutted joints of elbow and knee and the faceted surfaces of muscle, surfaces fracturing and reforming like a sun tickled sleeve of running water. She makes jewelry of herself and garlands the ground with shadows. After listening to Double Dutch, I hope you got a chance to hear some of the rich language that um, he uses, how the girls train Double Dutch bop and weave like boxers pulling punches. Like if you've ever seen someone do Double Dutch and just waiting and always on the ropes. Um, I've always tried to do Double Dutch in my younger days and I was never successful. If you can Double Dutch and possibly read this poem at the same time, I want to see it happen. Um, share with us on our Instagram page if you can double dutch and read some of this poem at the same time. I think that'll be hard to do. What you're going to do now is you're going to write your own poem from memory about a favorite childhood outdoor activity, board, or card game. Remember, this could be a funny poem. It could be a serious poem. It could be a poem about a memory or an experience playing that game itself. You can even do a rules. Um, I know for me, one of my favorite games growing up was Pokemon. Um, so I even took another, I even took another shot at this poem. Um, after reading Double Dutch, I was inspired to write my own poem um, with my favorite game growing up, which was Pokemon. Uh, one of my favorite card games of all time, Pokemon the card game. Um, and this poem kind of is a memory and experience that kind of encompasses what Pokemon is to me, what that card game is for me.
Now, it is your turn. I want you to write a poem from memory about a favorite childhood outdoor activity, board or card game. Look at the A through Z list for inspiration. You can even do a game that's not listed, but it has to be a card game, a board game, or an outdoor activity. I'm sorry, this time there are no video game titles allowed for the entries. If you do have any questions, you know where to find us, YouTube chat. I'm here live with you all now, answering all your questions that you may have. You can also submit your questions via our Google form, and you can also submit your work to us. If you got poetry and you want to share your poems that you're creating with us, please share them with us on our Instagram page, and then also fill them out on the Google form so that we can see them and promote them um, and have access to them. Thank you all for today. <laughs>